going on guys shalom peace and blessings all right y'all guys doing today or tonight i'm sleepy but i'm gonna make this video for you guys you know this is that daily bread you know every time we pick up the bible we're receiving that daily bread each and every day that's why god said give us this give us give me my daily bread each and every day because the word is your daily bread this is what keeps you full keeps your spirit nourished and it keeps you going you know when you you know when you weary and you heavy laden Pick rest in the Lord, rest in His Word, you know, uh, anchor in, his, in the, abide in God's Word, and it will give you life. It will, um, it will give you endurance when you weak, when you physically weak. The Word of God will quicken your body through the Spirit when you read the Word. So, what I'm, um, the book I'm in, I'm in Psalms, and this is about the transgression of the wicked. So, as a child of God, God wants us to be, be separate, of course. From the transgress being, he wants us to be separate from being wicked, first of all, and he definitely wants us to be separate from wicked people. So that's what we need to really take responsibility on, especially now. We need to take full responsibility and deliberately make it in your mind, take your own initiative to separate yourself from wicked people. And you know, if you know, you know, we all have a friend. We all had that friend, and you know the way they act is wicked. Whether the, their mouth is wicked, or the way they think, or the, or the things they do is wicked. And as far I mean, we can at least try to help these folk in getting them to stop doing or thinking the way they do. That's made them may be wicked, but if they don't, if they choose to keep doing what they do, you got to let that person go. And that's from and that's from experience. That's from experience. That's from me coming to you. Uh, because, you know, bad company corrupts communication and, you know, spirits as well. Any person that's wicked, that means they have wicked spirits on them as well and around them. Yeah, so, you know, those spirits will cling on to you and jump in, in, into your life and mess you up. So, that's why God said, uh, for, uh, be ye separate. Uh, don't stay in the company of wicked men. He said, uh, don't sit in the, in the, in the seat of, of the scornfuls. Uh, don't stand in the way of sinners. So, uh, he wants us to be righteous. He wants to be. He wants us to be with the righteous people, not with the people that's of the world. You know, people of the world, they're gonna conform to the systems and the pattern of the world, and of course, they're gonna be. They're gonna carry the spirit that's really not, you know, positive. They need deliverance at the end of the day. They need prayer. They need deliverance, and uh, they gotta go through their own trials to, to know that. Um, the way that that the, the way that they move and the way that they think isn't it isn't beneficial to them and it's not um it's defiling God it's going against God's uh you know His plan as far as how we should be how we should walk and talk so um I'm in the book of Psalms thirty seven Psalms and we're gonna start from chapter thirty seven and I'm gonna only read about mm, like four scriptures really so here we go it says um I'm start from verse one we'll say for not that so because of evil doers. Neither be, neither be envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. And say, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. It says, verse 5, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring in the past. Um, I think one more. And it says, And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as a light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Man, every time I read one scripture, the other script the other scripture below just capital it, it just compliments it. So one more. It says <laughs> Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. So this is about, you know, not minding what wicked people do to get to do to get what they're getting, of course, by the threatenings of wicked people. So it says, fret not that so because of evil doers. Fret, don't be afraid. Don't basically don't don't run. You know, don't run from the enemy. You know, uh, stand your ground and know that uh, God is with you. Because in, in in all actuality, you can't run in the spirit realm. You can't run from your enemy <laughs> if you didn't know that. You can't run from your enemy because there's no distance in the spirit. So fret not, fret not thyself because of evil doers. 
Neither be thou envious against the works of iniquity. So God said, don't be, don't hold hatred in your heart for uh for workers of iniquity. You know, you just got to just don't let it, uh, don't allow them to um allow them to have hatred built up in you because of the the things that people do. That's you know that's really like threatening in you or make that may hurt your feelings. Um, it says for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and the weather as a green herb. So God has a special day for wicked do for wicked men. So they they shall be cut down like the grass and the weather is a green herb. So uh, that's why you must pray for these folk. And, I mean, uh, and of course pray for you know pray against whatever they try to do, whatever wicked men are doing in the world. You must pray as well because there's always wickedness going on somewhere. There's someone plotting on somebody's life because they they are jealous of what they have, or they see something in another person that they don't feel like they have. So you must pray. You gotta pray for people. You gotta pr pray over places where, where, when you, wherever you you go, you gotta pray uh, over your footsteps where you walk. You know, so you don't walk into the wrong uh, situation, the wrong place at the wrong time. You gotta ask God to uh, make your path straight, make uh, keep you safe, not to um. You gotta ask God to you know keep you in line and not to you know. Lord, help me not to lead, walk myself into anything that's really like destructive, you know, because we all, because we, we all were once at the wrong place at the wrong time, and we all know how that goes, and sometimes that wrong place, wrong time situation can be the last, it can be the last chance you get. Everyone doesn't get a, get to escape out of those wrong place, wrong time situations, so it's only by the grace of God that I'm still here, because I definitely had those situations where wrong place, wrong time. And it was more than once. So at that point, you got to know that it's something that that is evil in this world. And is it, anybody that's a child of God, you're a target. Um, yeah. So you know, just know that God is protecting you. I mean, if you're still here, whatever problem you went through that you thought it was going to destroy you, you're still standing. You know, that's God covering you with His hand. So you got you got to take notice of that. So um, just say, just say uh. Commit, say, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. So delight yourself in the Lord. Delight in God's ways. Delight in his word. Delight in his statutes and delight in his um, commandments. And he would he would um, grant the desires of your heart. And, of course, God said, seek ye the, the kingdom first. So always um, put things of the world. Put your own flesh, the, your flesh-like desires, you know, the, the, the lust of your flesh. Don't even let the, the lust of your flesh corrupt your, your vision, you know, of course, that takes time, it takes training through the word and through prayer, but that's what, um, God won't, uh, he won't grant, he won't answer your, your request on certain things, especially if it's not aligned with his will, so if it's with his will, and it's with his, um, aligned with his, uh, you know, his, uh, yeah, his will for your life, or with his will, his purpose, of course he has a purpose, purpose with his will, but if, if it's not aligned with that, he most likely doesn't want to do it for you because he knows it's going to destroy you. And he know that it doesn't serve him, no, you know, it doesn't give him glory. So this is all about God at the end of the day. Yeah, everything that he, um, everything that goes on in the world, he wants it to go back to him. He wants um, us to give him glory for the things that we get, the, one, the blessings that we receive. And of course, people always take it in their hands and give themselves own kudos and accolades, pat themselves on the back like I did this. I'm the reason why. I made it this far, so uh, you, know, you got people walking around with self, the spirit of self sufficiency. So um, that's a sin, really. And uh, I mean, you just need to work on that. People just need to, you know, realize that you know, that's kind of arrogant. So um, yeah, so you seek, seek, his, seek his delight your way, delight yourself in God and His Word and everything that's other word, and He will desire, He will grant the desires of your heart. So um. Verse God said, "Commit." It says, "Uh, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass." So commit yourself. Commit yourself to the Lord, no matter how the road, how rocky your journey get with God. And uh, of course, before you even, okay, I don't know what kind of life you live now, but I don't know. If you might not be a hundred percent with God. Your feet, two feet, might not be in the door. You might be halfway in, one foot in, one foot out. 
But once you get in, don't go back. Don't 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 on uh, backslide. You know you might get you might get uh, weary during the during the journey. I don't know how old you are, but if you're young, yeah, definitely. Um, it's not gonna be easy. Allow God to groom you. Allow God to uh, work on your mind and spirit. You know, allow Him to strengthen you through the Word. And I think the one thing I, I definitely can tell you is to tackle first is faith. Mm, well, I, I can say first purge yourself. Allow God to um change and transform you because you know we all got habits and things. So allow God to shave, trim all those bad habits you got. Because once you got, when you have a lot of bad habits, it's hard to focus. That's definitely a, a stumbling block. But um, whatever habits you got, and, it's, and you know that it's negative, just know it's a spirit with that. So you definitely have to face those spirits or whatever, uh, whatever you're doing that's not of God. You're gonna have to face those spirits as well. You have to pray against some things. And some spirits are strong, and those spirits really don't want you to walk away from those things. You know, they even try to really kill you. Like, uh, so just know that. Uh, yeah. So um. It's not easy, but we gotta go through these things if you want. We, we gotta we try to make it to the promise, to the promised land. And of course, uh, from generation to generation, they just didn't speak on. The church doesn't speak on certain things the way they should speak on it. You know, they they it's a lot of times churches or preachers they teach you on things that make you feel make you feel good. They make you to feel comfortable in your in your life of sin, in your life of uh you know rebellion. Uh, wickedness um so that's why people are being deceived you know the devil is a liar he's a deceiver and he's deceiving people in the hell so um god never intended that for us for you and me but, um you know times change and the people's eyes are getting more open now now that the world's getting more darker you know you got some of course you do got some people that's half of the world all right right now it's more evil in the world than it's good but that's why god said uh he wants us to be a candlestick. He wants us to be like a city on a hill. Because a city on a hill can't be hid. And he wants our light to shine. Because, you know, the darkness can't comprehend the light. And just know, darkness can't transform darkness. Light can only transform darkness. So that's why God needs you and me to be the light. And he needs us to walk with courage. And it's not easy. Uh... That's yeah, so why you're gonna need to ask God to give you supernatural strength and uh and courage and give you mental mental strength because it's, it's this world's too much. It's too much for a human. Or it's too much for a person to do it on his own. You will get eat, eat, it eat you alive. So we we you got to pick up your pick up your pick up your Bible and that's that's your gun. That's your sword in this life. That's all I can say. Um. Um. It's a, it's a, and he shall bring, all right, verse it's a, and he shall bring forth. Once you commit yourself, he shall bring the things that you ask and pray for. He shall bring in the past. Verse 6, and it says, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. So, it says, all right, it says he'll bring the judgment as the noonday. So, of course, he'll bring gloom. He'll bring the days of gloom, gloominess. So he'll bring he'll bring it to light. So he'll turn it into noonday, those dark times, those dark moments. He shall bring it forth. So the verse starts here, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself so because of him who prospers in his way because of, of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So God said, don't 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 focus on what other, what other people are doing, how they get they how they get by, and you know it's not of God. So. And you know we all, that's why God said that, but don't compare yourself to other people. And they don't really focus on other people, you know, what they're getting blessed because we know how that does. It, it puts us down. You're either going to get jealous or you're going to get depressed because you, you're going you're gonna to be like, even if you don't say it out your mouth, your, your inner thoughts is going to be like, Shh, I wish that was me. And even that's for me as well. So that even goes to social media. When you're on social media, uh, social media is, is, is a facade. That's why I, so Facebook, Instagram, it's a it's a big distraction. If you're not on there for for for, for a career or anything that's 
that's business like you really shouldn't be on there because it's a distraction and, and it's, it's 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 rotten in your your brain. <laughs> and all you see on there is women that's um you know really defiling themselves and, and and everybody on there is full of lust. You know that's a bad place to be. And the internet just carries too much energies on there. It's just too much. So God wants us to stay away. He wants to lean. He wants to fall back from social network. So focus. If we focus, if we really focus on what's important in life, especially God, and, and you put that forth, to, and you incline God in everything that's that you're trying to do, it will benefit you. So, uh, you know the saying, hard work. Play, um, what's the word? Play hard. Hard. hard what well, I forgot. Work hard, play hard. Yeah, work hard, play hard. So work hard first, play hard. The same thing for God. Work hard for Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. play hard. That's what I can say. Yeah. Um, so patiently wait for him. And fret not thyself because of them that prosper in their ways, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So stand firm in the Lord and fight for your content for your faith, content for, for your blessings, content for your prayers to be answered. Because it's like a boxing match. You know, enemy wants to take your blessings, he wants to take your your opportunities, your job opportunities, he wants to take your finances. He wants to take your family, so um, don't um, don't fret. And this is the next passage that, that I'm not gonna read it, but it's it's about the fate of the wicked. So wicked men, they really blind, they really spiritually vexed. They don't even know about. They don't. It's like they possess not to even care about the uh, the end result. So the fate of the wicked. So this you already know how the fate of, the fate of the wicked. We all know how the ending of wicked men. Man, they're gonna they're going straight to hellfire. So um so other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys um <clears throat> hope you guys um like that one. I'm gonna do another one that's more bright. You know, this one is more serious. Um but you know, um it's just serious times. That's all. So God bless you guys. I love y'all. Um this power in the name of Jesus. Uh, you know, all I can say. Uh, try to stay away from adultery. As much as it may seem sound corny from you, still try to try your best to stay away from adultery, idolatry, stealing, killing. Uh, yeah, try to stay away from those things. Don't don't allow this world to make you think it's cool. You know, of course, just like the um, music industry. Like you know, of course, I call black people. Uh, us as African Americans, we 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 have totally uh, what's the word? We promote we promote murder, so um that's that's from the pit of hell, so um so people that's really you know b bragging and boasting about that type of those things, try to stay away from it and uh, don't even focus on those things because you don't want to you you don't want to be transformed you don't want that uh get into your eye gate and your ear gate and start you know you know, influence you to be a certain way, that's really not uh, of God, because, you know, I used to, I, li I used to listen to murder music every day, all day, and I used to not be like that, I used to, I started listening to murder music, murderous music, like gangster music, every day, all day, and uh, it really messes with, it really puts spirits in you, and then you walk around, you be ready to stab and kill people, just by, somebody look at you wrong, cut you off on the road, and, God wants us not to get engaged in meaningless arguments and things like that and strife. Because you don't ever know. Uh, it could be you can come across that, that person that's really a ticking time bomb. And it's really sent by the enemy. That person that, that person that's really walking around with, you know, raging him. The enemy using that person as a, as a chessboard to, you know, kill somebody, destroy somebody's life, soul. So, you know, walk light in this world. Uh, be wise. Uh, have self-control. Don't walk with resentment in your heart. Let let resentment go over your arm, out of your spirit and soul, because you know that stuff will rock you from the inside out. So um, yeah, God bless you guys. Peace. Uh, talk to you guys another time.